Hey all, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. The second visits continue. Today we are returning to the underworld because there's a little bit of unfinished business there, especially revolving around Auron and the like. I know we're going back to uh, kind of help Hercules out with his shit and all that, but it's really weird now that I think about it that Hercules never got like a... Okay, well, it got the TV show, which is fair. That's probably better than like getting like a direct-to-DVD <laughs> you know, sequel for that. I, I know one of the episodes in the cartoon was actually uh, adult Hercules and Meg, you know, yes. kind of like... I, I forgot what they were like reminiscing about or something like that, but I guess that's like your direct-to-DVD sequel in a way. Yeah, there's only one thing that kind of comes after the movie. Otherwise, it's sort of like interquills. Like, I know the Tarzan TV show basically took place during the movie, or maybe it was a little bit after. I think it might have also been a little bit after, yeah. Wasn't the, uh, didn't they do like a Tarzan and Jane kind of thing, but those were like also episodes of the cartoon? Oh god, you, you, too much information too early right. into a part. Hercules is depressed, let's focus on that sure. instead. Like Ooh, I know what that's like. <laughs> oh, well, we're in the well, underworld. This is the place where hope goes to die. For me, it wasn't like the super strength kind of thing, realistic stuff, but you know. <laughs> you know, if I threw myself into a swirling vortex of souls to save the woman I love, I don't think I'm coming out of there, let alone with a golden glow. Very weird when it just suddenly jumps to 60 frames per second. Oh yeah, that's true. I, uh... You know, again, my my main exposure to this game was the previous Ooh, version on the PS2, I so like I gotta that. adjust to the PS4's Excuse power. I'm oh. a selfish guy. I'm not like those high and mighty snobs up on Olympus. Uh, that is actually kind of fair. Like, they all treated Hades like shit. He didn't ask for that job. Zeus just, like, shoved it onto his baby brother, you know? I'll take heaven with all the ambrosia and the wonderful, you know, scenery and whatnot, and uh, you can take the basement. I'm gonna be honest, I really do think the uh, Hades from Hades the game could kick the shit out of this Hades, because that dude is powerful, alright? Well, I mean, all you have to do for this Hades is, like, mutter some liberal propaganda and he goes down like a sack of potatoes. It would be kind of neat if Sora met uh, Zagreus, in a way. <laughs> I can just imagine, like, all the uh, KH characters in the Hades are style, actually. And also, um, I mean, you know, I've seen fan art of this where Kratos was talking with Hades and things like that. That would be an interesting fight right there. Yep, yep. Alright, so it's tournament time, boys and girls. Do you have a favorite tournament in fiction, Helldragon? Hmm. I, I know a lot of, like, uh, games... Uh, oh, I actually have one because, you know, so much anime... You know, does tournament arcs. Uh, Battle City, that's probably my favorite tournament arc of, like, all time, you know? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to agree, actually. Like, lots of great battles, uh, paced pretty well from what I recall. I might be blocking out filler. I, I don't even know what counts as filler in Yu-Gi-Oh, but, uh, yeah, th that one's pretty good. Also ends on a good note as well. Noah's arc was filler, basically. I don't even know why they did it. I think it was a legit situation where they had to catch up with the manga, perhaps, or something like that. Um, or the manga had to catch up, that is. But Noah's arc fucking sucks, and it's just pointless. And at the end of it, I remember in the dub, Kaiba's like, well, let's just forget that ever happened. <laughs> well, you know, maybe if they hadn't stuck to bringing two of every animal onto that damn thing, it would have been more entertaining. Although, it is pretty funny, now that I think about it, um, you know, that... that uh, you know, Ark had the idea of having like a, uh, you know, a dual master in a way where, you know, you pick like an ace monster and you can summon him at any time for that. And nowadays, you know, in Magic the Gathering, we have Commander, which is a format I play a lot of. So I think that's pretty interesting, actually. I mean, I've always been in the card games kind of stuff. Like, I loved, um, look, they're, they're fighting people. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but... Like, you know, back in the day when they used to have, like, card battle video games, I would get, like, a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh! ones and just, you know, I really enjoyed playing those. Worldwide Edition was pretty good. My first Game Boy Advance game was Eternal Duel of Soul. I still think the 2010 DS game is hilarious because you get, like, all the powers. You are super Mary Sue in that game. It's hilarious. I love it. Yeah, I don't really have much to add to this either. Uh, it's a tournament arc. We're fighting Bob the Douchebag. It's nice to see he's still getting work. You know, this day and age. Well, what was your favorite tournament arc then in, like, games or anime or TV shows or whatever? You had to one-up me right from the start by choosing Battle City, didn't you? Um, 
Maybe I'll go one back and I'll say Doorless Kingdom. Doorless Kingdom is pretty good. Like, you know, obviously it's unorganized as shit and the rules are a little weird, but I do like that whole idea of having like a closed off arena where, you know, you have to find opponents and things like that. I guess kind of like a battle royale when you think about it. Yeah, it's like the tournament of power before the tournament of power was even a thing. Also, Fortnite and all that. But Orin's having a memory issue. Mood. I can relate. That would be a very easy way to adapt the Tournament of Power, I think, if Dra uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot wanted to do some uh, Dragon Ball Super DLC. Just make it like, oh, you, you gotta beat everyone before the magic circle encloses around Goku. Don't they, um, are they still making DLC for uh, Kakarot? I think some stuff is still coming out. The previous one, the most recent, uh, was for the 23rd Budokai Tenkaichi, which was uh, pretty fun. Uh, I've liked most of the DLC. Uh, the uh, A New Power Awakened stuff, which is basically just a um, an abridged version okay, of Battle of Gods and uh, Resi F. That, that, that was okay. The rest got better. I'm actually looking forward to seeing how the new uh, Budokai Tenkaichi fighting game is going to work, especially since before that, obviously, was Dragon Ball Fighters, which is very popular. Kind of hard, you know, it's more of a traditional fighting game, so it can be a little hard to get into if you're newer. I know I've had trouble with it, because I suck at fighting games. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how that plays out, if it's going to be a lot like uh, you know, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, which is the most popular one. I've played 2. Um, 2 was pretty fun. Um, just as a casual kind of thing, you know? So I'm looking yeah, forward to that. I want Farmer with a shotgun, no. and I want him to be Only overpowered. Yes, we need Farmer uh, with a shotgun in that game you somehow, you know? Ah, uh, no. He's turning me Republican. My hickey spot. <laughs> ah. Hercules. So that's how they made figure oh, art, so Final Fantasy X Orin. <laughs> Imagine if he just turned Orin into a Funko Pop, how different the tone of this visit would be. God, I really don't like Funko Pops. There's like one or two I've liked, and they don't even have the traditional shape. I think my favorite one, well, again, the one of the two I really like was a, a Tiamat from Dungeons and Dragons. It actually is a tiny little five-headed dragon. It's actually pretty cool. I like that one. Oh, what a jerk. He was stealing Orin's soul. Yeah, I'm making a figure art out of him, which is an unforgivable crime. Don't mind me. Yes, lads, otherwise there'll be basically nothing to do here. I think we might be uh, fighting another one of the absent silhouettes here. I know Spa kind of like portioned out these fights to maybe one per visit every other second visit. Uh, and then we have the data fights in the optional content that I'll be covering with Spa at the end of the playthrough. Yeah, I guess uh, because this is honestly just kind of a boring tournament arc, you know, he's got to fill out the time somehow. So it's I'm looking forward to another absent silhouette fight. That sounds kind of familiar. Ooh, look at that river of Ribena. Probably tastes like uh, what was it? Uh, blackberry currant? Is that what it's called? Uh, black currant, yes. See if you can find that statue. I want to sell on Greek eBay. Right. Yeah, I gotta go to uh, Hades' uh, little rec room and take care of his action figures. I'll fight Orin in the final, one on one. He really is like Goku, but he, you know he has depression. The second fight he comes up, it's cured. Does Goku have depression? Otherwise, I don't know. I'm just trying to fill space here. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been a bit since we've done the last recording, by the way, so we're a little off, as you know. <laughs> hey, I'm tip top. This is the best shrimp I'm gonna get out of me. What do you say? That's fair, and I'm just a piece of shit. So. <laughs> and he's Hell Dragon. That's me. The event of their after. And away they go. I'm kind of surprised Hades gets earwax issues. Because you saw how he was digging his ear back there. I don't think it's earwax. I think it might be like magma. Oh, that's true. Or God knows what else. Alright. Like Hell Dragon says, we got to get to the rec room. we got to find the Funko Pop. Yeah, i got to find his really ready room. No, no offense, guys, you're not the most intimidating Harless to be in the underworld. This is 
So, I mean, if you're going to guard uh, his Funko Pop collection, you're going to need some stronger stuff than that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know how much longer we can keep up this bit. <laughs> Just the idea of Hades owning a Funko Pop collection is too funny. Um, I could talk about other collectibles I might be looking at. Hmm, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, oh shit, I ain't got nothing else to say. You know, I'm always on the eye out for new Transformers. Uh, they announced recently, because um, I have here, they remade Transmetal to Megatron. I'm about to drop some Beast Wars lore on you guys. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, Transmetal to Megatron, a dude I've always loved in the cartoon. I always wanted him. I have the classic here. So when they remade him, I'm like, yes, sir, sign me up. And then they recently announced they're putting out Transmetal to Tigerhawk, which is interesting, because that dude only had three episodes, and then he fucking died. He got nuked. By the Nemesis's uh, rocket trail wow. when it was taken off. Have you watched Beast Wars, by the way? I have watched a ton of Beast Wars, yes. Okay, good. So you know what happens at the end where they rise the Nemesis out of the uh, ocean and they have like their final battle. So there's that. So what I'm waiting for, I want them to remake Death Charge. Like I was, I'm a huge fan of Death Charge. Never got a chance to get his figure. I haven't been able to find one at a price I like. And I'm going to be honest with you with the Transmetal. Like, you run into plastic issues and shit like that with the older one. That stuff rots over time. So I'm looking for a new one that addresses those issues, lasts longer. And, again, I just want to, like, re-get all my favorite Beast Wars characters in a sense. Well, you know, this is what it means to be a millennial adult. You know, we pay our taxes... You know, we wait to die, but in the meantime, toys. Yeah, no, I mean, shit, I work 40 hours a week, I'm an adult, I'll do what I fucking want with my money, so there you go. And if we cross Zexion, he will trap us in his book of terrible fanfic, starring him and you. He's got a little black book, wait, why me? <laughs> why, because you crossed him, I'm sitting here doing nothing. It's a snuff fic, you and reader, <laughs> it's just God. I saw an Adventure Time meme earlier where it's like, are you making an enemies to lovers fanfic of us too? Um, no. I guess I have to wonder I, the thought process about giving him a book as a weapon. Like, and I may have mentioned this in the past, the only time I've really seen like paper being used as a weapon is like Reader Die, the TV. I know there was an OVA. I actually really liked what I saw Reader Die, the TV. I never did finish it because I watched it when I was in. Phoenix, Arizona, and my uh, aunt had cable, and I did not. So this was on G4. Okay. But it was actually kind of neat. So this that's like the only thing I can think of. But here, he doesn't do anything close to read or die. It's just like, I'm going to throw the book at you times ten, and that's not really as fun. Uh, I know, I like all his illusions and whatnot. So I think he is the cloaked schemer, or I might be thinking of... Uh, no, no, Vexen is the chilly academic. you got to remember these subtitles. There will be a test. I'm not going to sit here and remember subtitles for all these fucking nerds. I'm not doing that, Tom. <laughs> no, like fucking uh, Laxius comes up, the angry one. I'm the super wanker, what do you want? <laughs> it's just, come on. Jesus Christ. Uh, I will say though, in terms of like using paper as a weapon, uh, you have Tyon in uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. He has like these uh, little paper figures which he uses to shield himself and his allies and do damage and whatnot. It's pretty cool. I haven't seen a ton of, uh, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, just like, and I may have mentioned it, um, this one boss fight I saw with this dude who was, like, super short, like, he got killed in the past, but then he came back, and he's meaner than ever, but I just saw him, I'm like, he's a little potato man, what's up, that's adorable. Yeah, th that's actually a fairly large spoiler, but at the same time, if you haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles 3, you're not gonna know what the fuck Helldragon's talking about. I mean, I certainly don't know, I'm just telling you what I see, alright? Please, this is a first edition. There aren't any replicas. <laughs> Goodbye. Sora, why'd you have to kill him? What? You could have just knocked him out. Uh, are you serious, Goofy? He's evil. As you can tell, uh, wielding the first edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone does a lot of damage. That thing is tiny. What was the longest one? That was like, uh, Order of the Phoenix, right? Yes, Order of the Phoenix, Arizona. 
<laughs> uh, secondary joke, are there other places in America named after legendary beasts like Minotaur, Idaho? Well, there's like Hell, Montana. I think Hell's in Montana. Or is it in Indiana? Look, I have to look up a Hell City now. I think it's in Florida, bro. Now, so no, that's all of Florida. That ain't one city. All right. What about there's a skateboard? Like, Hades either has a sense of humor or he's just into extreme sports. I guess you have to do something to pass the time down here. Forgot that the skateboard was here, which is surprisingly fun. You know, I've, I, I actually remember now driving it up back and forth on this fridge, just fighting all the heartless with the skateboard tricks. Hey, <laughs> we. You know, he should have, uh, instead of Orin, he should have recruited Tony Hawk to fight uh, Hercules. I think they would have worked out. But no one knows who Tony Hawk is, so you'd be summoning random guys. And they don't have to pay him for licensing fees, eh? I saw every polygon in that Funko Pop just there. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Don't touch my Transformers, guys. It is not too late. Let us turn yes. back, but I... I'm not sure if these are exact quotes from Final Fantasy X, but this is basically or on, on his journey with Braska. I haven't seen a lot of Final Fantasy X, but I know kind of the setup for Orin, so it is a neat little, uh, you know, kind of Easter egg for that. Yeah, he had to adventure with Titus, of all people. <laughs> well, that was his second journey, you know. Whoa! Titus no does exist in Kingdom Hearts, but he's not the Titus we know from Final Fantasy X, in a sense. Oh, that would be a really interesting meetup. Like, why are you so small, Titus? Uh. You know, Yuna is a fairy, so that meetup would be weird. Squall, you know, Leon, whatever the fuck his name is, I know at the end of uh, one of these games, he gets a note from Renoa. It's implied to be Renoa in a sense, so that's kind of weird. I actually would really like to see a Kingdom Hearts uh, Renoa. I don't recall that at all. Are you sure that was a thing you didn't just make up? No, no, in like the credits he get of one of these games he gets a note and then um, I think it's like a butterfly flies out. And that's the symbol of Renoa, you know, in Final Fantasy VIII. So I, I promise it is legit a thing. Well, I remember like... Um Zack got spirited away and then like a black feather dropped, obviously a reference to, you know, Crisis Call and all that stuff. No, Big fan of Crisis Call, by the way. We better they remade that, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Did you play that? I did a quick look of it, yes. Ah, good. Anyway, we must give Ord back his figurine, otherwise he can never be full. What sucks is that the figurine has no posability, which for me, instantly a deal breaker. God, it's like one of those cheap Megazords. Like, you wait, Christmas comes, oh my god, I can't wait to have all the individual Zords and combine them. Wait a minute, why is this just like a cuddly toy? Yeah, man, that's like, um, shit, that would have run like 200 back in the day, so I, I had no hopes, of course, of seeing that. Like, I had to get my Tiger Zord over here, 45 bucks at like a fucking, uh... You know, flea market, and he's not complete, but shit, what else was I gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Donk. <laughs> Just... What if it all went into Hercules? That would be... actually kinda cool. Wait a minute, I'm very toned and buff. I don't need this sword anymore. Sword. No, it would be cool if Hercules was using the sword Dumb. instead. Goofy. Pretty sure he did use a sword at one point, or I might be thinking of a club. No, I mean, he, Hercules has used a sword, but I'm talking about Orin's sword. Wait a minute, he had a, he had a sword in Disney's action game featuring Hercules for the PS1. Was there a Disney's puzzle game featuring Hercules? <laughs> no, sadly not. And you're not part of it. Oh, he mad. I'm going right to Twitter to post this about this. Is over. I've played by the rules so far. Okay, I confess. I was hoping Wonder Boy would lose, but it was still a fair fight. Come on. Is that really so wrong? This is my I'm house. Really I get to make the rules fight. in here. Laugh, laugh, laugh all you want. <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause the> laughing, <laughs> I like to imagine James Wood's laughs like that in real life. <laughs> <laughs> 
Again, it's his house. The host gets to set the rules. Such as having a hostage. And having a lake of green apple juice. Well, that's just my toilet when I don't clean it enough. Oh, gross. Grody. The funk of 40,000 years. And in goes the woman, of course, to clean it. You lose the girl. They did compete, though. Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, Meg, hang on! oh, the boss music kicked Looks in. I guess we can't jump in. Oh, we're gonna murder you, Hades. Um, I, I, I think you'll find on the last of your Kratos. This is not gonna end the way you think it is. I don't know. Like, I would like to this see like a. You know, like a keyblade, a keyblade that kind of is like extends out, kind of like Kratos's blades, because you know they're blades on chain. But just like a cool look, chain weapons are cool. All right, I love chain weapons, even though they're fucking impractical. Well, you know, Sora does have that grappling hook in uh, Kingdom Hearts 4. I have to look that up. It's been a while since I've seen that. <laughs> we can't win. He has no nuts. We can't hit him. Oh, the one weakness of all men. Huh. I think a true hero should be able to help. Oh, this is nowhere near as cool as it is in the movie. I owe you one, Hades. I'm minty fresh and clean now. I didn't hesitate to give my life for Megs. I'm here Meg, too. <laughs> no. A true hero is measured by the strength of his heart. And this gun I found. Just reminds me of. Well, I, I can't really go into it because it spoils. But most recent again. episode of the Soaker was really funny because this one character is like the Force People is my ally, and he's doing like Force pushes and whatnot, and Karate and Ultra Instinct, <laughs> and he just picks up a gun and shoots a Stormtrooper in the back so of the head. Funny, you awesome! <laughs> How dare you get a happy ending? How dare you? Yeah, I think another blue character is going to be like that on a Soaker. <laughs> That's it. You know, October's coming up soon, so we'll get to see Hades on the uh, cereal they bring out around that time. Ah, yes, indeed. <laughs> like a fucking Disney version of Cow Chocolate or whatever. Why not? They may as well, right? Hey, I'm not saying it's a bad idea, I just find the imagery hilarious. You know, speaking of other weird Disney tie-in products, uh, it's a Hades fight, what do you expect, guys? Um, But there's like this series of like books where they like... It, it's kind of like Goosebumps, but like with Disney villains in a sense. Like, I've never read it. I just so, see them on Amazon. I'm like, how do you do that? Like, how do you do like a Goosebumps kind of thing, but with Disney characters? Maybe take them to their roots, go a little bit closer and whatnot. So, you know, Hades isn't actually a bad guy. You know, he's just really down bad for Persephone. Did we ever have a Persephone and Disney? I don't know if the uh, the animated series had one. Uh, Demeter was there for sure, but I don't think her daughter was. No. See, so you guys didn't miss much. <laughs> no, no, there were balls. There were balls, and in the end, one set remains alive. Yeah, I bought some balls recently. Dryer balls, you know, big, uh, great at absorbing moisture, as you know. Oh, well, thank God I closed that door, so I'm not going to end up tripping into my river of a thousand souls. Oh no, here I go! Oh, my hubris. That was cloud shoes. <laughs> I'm glad we solved this mystery. <laughs> oh, I love you, Kingdom Hearts, especially too, but Jesus Christ, your awkward pauses are so funny. Others, but now, there's no one left to protect. There's Maybe. Donald. It's time That's I true. Donald is very prone to injury. Yeah. You deserve it, Orin. After everything you've been through. <laughs> I have an A on my pauldron. You should have a letter on your clothing you. somewhere, Sora. Hey, don't worry, I've got Fine. X's all over me. D for I Donald. Mean, sure you G for Goofy. And also God. <laughs> <laughs> He's powered by Jesus. Line. I guess I could spare a few words. The two lovers look at each other. <laughs> Thanks for meddling. Hey, what's that mean? We can't meddle in this world, Sora. Hey, excuse me while I depose this king and insert myself. 
Goofy's going a little hard here. Mm, yeah, Guardian Soul. It looks cool. I end up using other Keyblades instead. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, but I use Guardian Soul a lot myself. It's a pretty good Keyblade otherwise. Thanks again, guys. You're the best. Yeah, I'm bronze, at the very least, I think. Oh, sounds like somebody's feathers are a little ruffled. I'm kidding. Thank you, Sora, Donald, Goofy. <laughs> I love the little oh, laugh she has in the voice whenever she says Goofy. I'm, I'm just like me, uh, for real. You know, you two lovebirds seem to be getting along. You two lovebirds, and... Don't you go slaying your wife and child in a fit of madness. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Before we start meddling. Guys. Right. <laughs> Look behind you. you. The Colosseum is in ruins. If you keep acing every challenge, champ, who am I going to train? Real question, who is oh, going to rebuild this? Probably not Phil. He uh, doesn't seem to have again. that level of upper body strength. <laughs> yeah, walking is clearly a challenge for this man. On, <laughs> POV, Donald wants to be the best. The Let best ever was. Now. Well, you're not wise enough. Mood. Not quite seasoned enough. I am salty. I'm not a piece of pork. Okay, okay, we get the hint. Look, kid, it's not my call. Ah, Course, if it was, you'd have no problem. I'd make you all heroes in a heartbeat. But you're trainer of no. heroes, Philatites. On second thought, if those are your hero faces, you still got a lot of work to do. Oh, this is arbitrary. <laughs> and <laughs> very clearly dedicated to keeping the status quo. Phil! Leave me alone! <laughs> that was so earnest. <laughs> you should just, like, for real. It's not actual voice oh, what acting. Do you know? Huh? Wow, the moon! Huh? <laughs> Please, God, music. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> this is awkward, man. And thus trillions of galaxies were displaced and trillions died. Just so these three fucks could hang in the sky a minute longer. <laughs> 